Celebrity Jeopardy! Kathy Lee, Tom Hanks, Sean Connery, Burt Reynolds. After a four-year hiatus due to the staleness of the well-known SNL skit, Celebrity Jeopardy! returned in good style with the newly revitalized Kathy Lee Gifford, Tom Hanks, Sean Connery. This episode of this long-running series was lifted by a brilliantly devoted performance by Tom Hanks as a much dumber version of himself. The only time the actual celebrity played themselves in Celebrity Jeopardy! The spoof itself did not stray too far from the traditional structure. He also gains from Kristen Wiig's bubbly, giggly, extremely intoxicated impression of daytime talk show presenter Kathy Lee Gifford and Daryl Hammond's reprise of Sean Connery, who does not miss a beat here even after a few years. Additionally, it is clear that the pattern is improved by fresh writers who approach this SNL classic with energy. There is greater opportunity for absurdity or strays into madness. Also entertaining is the cameo appearance of Norm Macdonald's Burt Reynolds. I know it's a bit of a long skit, but it's fun to watch these celebrities in jeopardy. In the lead, we have Kathy Lee Gifford. Hey, who you plaque all in a player, G? G? What's that mean, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> And you have negative 22. Th In second place, with negative $46,700, is Tom Hanks. Carter Alex, but I think that you'll find that I will catch up with double jeopardy. Who <laughs> cast away quite a number of points. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was making a pun on the title of your movie, Castaway. I don't know what that is. The movie you were in, Castaway. Oh, ha, 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 I still don't understand. <laughs> Not a microphone. <laughs> I didn't expect that the introduction would start with a roast of the host by Kathy Lee Gifford. But why the hell is Tom Hanks so nervous? He doesn't remember Castaway? What a waste of a pun. But that got justified when he thought the pen was a microphone. I doubt if he remembers Forrest Gump now. In last place, with negative $69. Oh, brother, Sean Connery. $69. Okay, that wasn't your score. Well, 69 is how I scored with your mother last night. <laughs> Let's just move on to the category for double jeopardy. Sounds that kitties make. Twinkle, twinkle, little blank. Catch these men. I'm not pretty sure that that would not turn out well. I turned out your mother last night. I'm ignoring you. My mother is infirm. She uses a walker. She is a walker. A street walker. <laughs> Sean Connery just can't stop making jokes about his mother. But if you think deeply, can you derive the meaning of negative 69? Well, obviously, I know about 69, but... Negative 69? That would be pretty interesting to try out. You know what, let's just do states that end in Hampshire for 200. South Hampshire. No. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, Kathy Lee. Hampshire, England. No, no, that's, that's not in the United States. I'll take Catch the Seaman for 800. <laughs> It's not Catch the Seaman. Is that what the moustache is for, Trebek? <laughs> Tom Hanks, would you just pick a category? Uh, it's on my hand. W where did you get that pickle jar? No, not the jar. Let, let, go, of, let go of the pickle. But I, but I want a pickle. That's what your mother said last night. <laughs> The first question clearly showed how the contest is going to be. The answers were hilarious, but I had a great laugh when Sean Connery pronounced Catch These Men as Catch the She-Men. He doesn't know when to stop his sex jokes, does he? Even the pickle joke about the host's mother was also a brutal one. And Tom Hanks is caught in a dry cleaning bag. <laughs> no, no one can help Tom Hanks. All right, let's just move on. Even in that position, I also wouldn't help Tom. No, I am not being ruthless. I just noticed he came out of the plastic by mistake and again willingly got into it. So I would just enjoy what was happening. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Wait, oh, Burt 
Reynolds, where did you come from? <laughs> I've been here the whole time. I'll take, uh, give me a famous Chinaman for doing it. There is no Chinaman category. <laughs> First of, all, first of all, Pat Morita was Japanese, not Chinese. Who is Cam Fong is Jin Ho. Good Lord. Let's just move on to Final Jeopardy. And here, the classic Burt Reynolds is. I just love his attitude. But did you think he was there all along? Or has he become a time traveler? He was, but let's just see what you wrote. That is a nonsense word. Judges? Yes. Yes, the judges agree. Fantastic. I'm, I'm so very happy in this moment. Well, I thought you could use it, friend. Let's see what my friend, Sean, wagered. <laughs> and if I, am, if I am looking at that correctly, that is you, I take it, defecating on my grave. Turn back. <laughs> okay, that's it. Show's over. Good night. Burt Reynolds vanished again, but Sean Connery just nailed it. Even I was surprised that Sean did write a nonsense word, but we all made a mistake believing him. He just wants to roast Trebek and have sex with his mother, but I have to admit that it was indeed a great picture. Don't you think so? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. And for more amazing videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.